The next series of awards that we will recognize are those for excellence in science teaching. This award was established in October of 1988 and formally adopted in 1989. This award is given annually to persons who have made outstanding contributions to the improvement of science education in Wisconsin to foster and recognize excellence in science instruction. And our three winners are Dr. Tanzim Ali, Jennifer Bolt, and Dr. Jamie Schneider. Dr. Tanzim Ali is an assistant professor of science education at the University of Wisconsin Superior. From her letters, we hear from Dr. Rebecca L. Franson. Through all of my interactions with Dr. Ali, I have seen a creative and confident educator who wants the best for her students and is working to improve science and environmental education in Wisconsin. Dr. Ali works with pre-service teachers and has designed curriculum to support their success in taking on their own classrooms. Her classes address elementary through secondary education, promoting the 5E instructional model. Presentations and publications address pre-service teaching education and environmental science topics, among others. Since joining WSST in 2016, she has been active in many ways, including presenting at the annual conference, helping on the 2020 conference committee, and participating with the elementary science education committee. In addition to WSST, she is active with the Wisconsin Association for Environmental Educators, recently elected as a board member for the 2020-23 term. Jennifer Bolt is an AP Biology and AP Environmental Science teacher at Nicolay High School. From her recommendations, Natalie Weeks says, this woman truly embodies what it means to be a science educator and has inspired me to pursue this passion as well. Jennifer Bolt is a valued resource to colleagues both in her building and in the area, providing support to area AP teachers. She has worked hard to establish hands-on experiences for her students and participates in curriculum development in her district. She was selected to be a Polar Trek teacher in Antarctica, participating in research seeking to map the thickness of the sea ice in the Ross Sea. She's also traveled to Tanzania and participated in the San Diego Zoo Safari Parks Teacher Program. All of these experiences have allowed her to bring these authentic scientific experiences back to her classroom engaging students with hands-on opportunities developed from her own real-life research. She has not only pushed herself to continually improve, but was recognized by those around her for sharing that with her colleagues and supporting them as well. Dr. Jamie Schneider is a professor with the Department of Chemistry at University of Wisconsin River Falls. Dr. Joel D. Donna mentions that Jamie is a tireless advocate for helping improve science, teaching, and learning. She is a true collaborator that works across disciplines in ways that directly and indirectly impact student learning throughout Wisconsin and the world. Dr. Jamie Schneider works on projects centered on effective teaching of chemistry for secondary and post-secondary students. She's an active member of the Process-Oriented Guided Inquiry Learning, or POGL project, aiming to make student-centered learning the norm in science classrooms. As a teacher who has used these POGL activities in class, I cannot say how much they have helped our students learn how to analyze data and think critically about the work that they do. She has received grants that involve collaboration between multiple institutions, examining the role of testing feedback type and timing on student learning in general chemistry with the intent of using assessment more for learning than just measuring results. Please help me congratulate our three winners. The next award we would like to discuss is the Friend of Science Education Award, which was established in October of 1989. This award is for recognizing outstanding contributions to support teachers by individuals, groups, corporations, or foundations outside the science education community. 
And this year's winner is Anne Marie Foundation. It was established by Bob Cervenka and Louis Bocura, founders of Phillips Plastics Corporation in 1974, to provide monetary awards to schools and nonprofit organizations to promote educational, humanitarian, cultural, and recreational activities. In a letter written by Rachel Savola, as an angry agri-science instructor, I have 16 different classes in my repertoire. It takes an incredible amount of tools to be able to offer hands-on experiences for students in that many courses. I am able to teach hands-on science principles through a variety of means and am thankful for the assistance I have received from the Anne Marie Foundation. The Anne Marie Foundation is an independent philanthropic organization committed to enhancing the quality of life in the Wisconsin communities it serves. The foundation provides monetary awards to schools and nonprofit organizations to promote educational, humanitarian, cultural, and recreational activities. The foundation also provides scholarships to high school graduates. While supporting many people in the local area, New Richmond School District, the nominators have been awarded with over $60,000 in grants since 2008, supporting different STEM projects from elementary to the high school level. Thank you to the contributions Anne Marie Foundation has made in local science education. Our next award is the Frank Zerner New Teacher Scholarship. This scholarship is sponsored by the WSST Foundation. The scholarship is encouraging a new to the profession science teacher who demonstrates potential for teaching and leadership to become involved in and network with others in WSST. The $500 award provides funds for professional development early in their career. We have one winner this year and our winner is Tiffany Lissick. She's a seventh grade life science teacher in the New Richmond Middle School. She began her career in the fall of 2020. Her principal states, Tiffany has a way about her which makes people of all ages, especially her students, feel safe and included. Her ability to connect with her students and her talent at teaching simple concepts, as well as more advanced topics, are both impressive for such a young educator. Tiffany brings her wide range of personal experiences teaching in Myanmar and the undergraduate research projects to her passion for science and learning in her classroom. Her personal philosophy is rooted in a desire to create an environment where students are ready to be challenged, but know it is a safe space to take risks and be supported. She hopes to collaborate with university research projects to expose her middle school students to robust science experiences. Congratulations to Tiffany Lissick. Our final award for the evening is this year's Ron Gibbs Award. As mentioned before, it is the highest honor that a member or teacher in WSST can earn. And our 2021 winner is Dr. Kevin Neamey. He has 25 years supporting science education in Wisconsin through outreach with UW Wisconsin and We Science. Megan Griffin Wenzel, a nominator, writes, Kevin embodies the mission of WSST to promote science education in Wisconsin through his work across the state, but also throughout the United States. I can't even begin to imagine how many people have participated in one of Kevin's sessions and have been inspired by his passion for science and science education. Dr. Nimi began his work with science education in Wisconsin, managing a program called BioNet. It was through this work he connected with WSST, and he has been a highly active member ever since. He has held roles on many committees, has presented numerous times, and has held many positions of leadership, including the president role and now the CFO of the organization. Kevin has worked to make supporting teachers and their growth as educators fundamental to WSST's impact. 
This is seen through the grants and scholarships available to teachers through his work with the board during his tenure as president. In his most recent work, he is focused on making connections between scientists and the public, helping them understand the needs of K-12 teachers in the classroom. Please join me in congratulating both Kevin and all of our winners for this year.